Nothing else. There's nothing else. We're going to Demu Island. That is our next destination. What are we doing? Oh! That's cool. Okay, we, I don't want to repair anymore. I don't have that many supplies. So the next island we've got is Demu Island. Lovely. All the crew seem to be doing doing well. This island is very dark. Dock. The Iron and Misery Company Funging Station. Iron Man has a funger operation here. Felling giant bulgous shrooms for building materials. Harvesting purely for its medicinal properties. Ugh, puffs the cap. The, aff the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We'd go quite mad out here otherwise. <laughs> quite mad. Uh, how can we be in assistance? A bandaged funger. One of the funging workers is watching your crews and watching the clattery air especially. What does he want? Hmm. Go. Whispered confidences. The tomb colonist draws you away from the clattery air. Don't tell her you met me, he says in a hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice, hoped to fix it so we'll be able to look for my daughter. So I wouldn't want to. Huh? He wheezes. Didn't work. Operations never completely effective. Need to know my daughter well. Happy? Finding enough patience? Getting enough to eat and so forth? In exchange for the simplest news, he explains himself. I'm her father, he says. Ordinary engineer. Not the sort of parent she would want. If you tell her about the same if you wish to tell the air about this encounter, you can do so by speaking with her. Okay. Give the, uh, let's get a port report. I think, no. Compile a port report. The Admiralty likes to keep an eye on Iron Misery's activities. Good. Uh, give the pass sign to the effable factor. The Admiralty asks you to bring back strategic information. This is your contract. Okay. Yes, yes, I have it here. The courier ship to Mount Palmerson. Stop off to resupply. Tell the Admiralty. Tell them I can. I miss my children. Tell them I can't take it here much longer. This board is the dark. You now have one strategic information. You completed your commission. Return to the Admiralty. Tea with the factor. The poor fellow needs the company. He can spare an hour away from his schedule. Yeah, sure, totally. An interlude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores, the scones are stale, even the tea has a hint of mildew. But the factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the ice and roses of Irem, the monstrosities of the Sea of Lilies, and a little restaurant in Vanderbrae where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. Venderbright, I know, I'd never met a tomb colonist who could cook, but you must visit the place. Do you know it? He also has a load of bulgous frond carted aboard his ship. He waves away your thanks. I have eaten so much of the stuff I fear I might be transformed entirely into fungus. He leans confidently towards you. It happens, you know, but one does not have to eat rather a lot of it first. You've lost some terror. That's good. That's all for now. You've gained five fragments, gained a supply. You've been told of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Vanderbrite. Well, that's interesting. Is there anything else? Gather supplies. 60% uh, chance of success. I think that's good. That's not good. Never mind. Continue. Um, uh, let's try again. That's not good. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, why do I keep wanting to try it again? It's a 60% chance. Thank you. Gain 2 tear. Well, at least I'm at an even number now.
That makes me happy. So I think this was a fairly successful little, little detour. All right, onwards. Captain Maxwell Harper has things to do, people to see. I really want to. I need to get a Syrian Enigma, and we should talk to you. Hold your horses there. I can't even read that. Uh, okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll just continue on my way. So that was that. And we killed, we killed our first monster as well. I think things have gone pretty well. We have lost some iron. Or have we gained iron? I don't really remember, to be honest. Um... So if we continue. What does toggling up the lights do exactly? They get decreases there? Oh no, that increases it. Never mind. Okay, that's that's a scary sight. How big is the map again? Quite big. Okay, cool. No. No, I don't want to fight things. Give me that all clear. Where is this thing? Oh, pirate, 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 get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, monsters, monsters, monsters. Full power to the engines, get me out of here. Blue lightnings crawl leisurely up the funnel. Sir Esmer is dancing. The cry goes up. Here the wilder air mingles with the airs near reaches. Demianma's gate, blah, 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 December 24th. Oh, it's almost Christmas Day. We should return home for Christmas, I think. Oh. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades. But it's not a good omen. Uh, spin him a story. I don't have that. Lower challenge. Comblem. That is a perfectly natural explanation. Light makes dark. The darkness of the Neath is more than the absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your sailors. It's not the first time they heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. Okay, I'm good with that. Mm, that's pretty cool. I think we should return home for Christmas. I don't think we'll make it home in time for Christmas, but we can at least try. It's Christmas Eve. Maybe we can make it in time for the new year. That might be fun. Where is it? Tell me what day it is. Oh, it's Christmas Day. We have our fog banks. We're gonna struggle to see our foe. Oh, well, he's he's gonna die. Oh, you gonna die? You gonna die? <laughs> you think you're cool? Ow! He thinks he's pretty cool. He's also dead now, which is good. Sweet. I can roll with that. Loot in a scuffle there. She's a vile vessel and you and these these aren't safe. Take what you can. Move on. Uh fish to open a cache of curiosities. Shake out a little and let a glimmer of light. A parabola is the serpent placed behind mirrors, or someone made that up. But in that case, where do they weave the sleek and airy glimmering cloth? Ah, oh, okay, cool. So for some damage. What is this island? I'm right, right there. So that's just Quaker's Haven again. Let's head south. I don't think we need to return home for Christmas. Uh, this is sadness though. A white Z-Bat. A sailor has a grown fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go on deck even in port. There's a white Z-Bat watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got its eye on me. I'll never see you again. Uh, Salt, one of the nameless gods of the sailors here. This sailor is a conscientious man. Send him to the sick bay on the pretext of a fever. 
Uh, if the bloody thing is frightening, your bloody crew, you bloody well said, let's hash. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> That's not good, is it? It sees your intention and spreads its wings to fly, but your shot catches it and falls on deck with a broken fluttering. You cross the deck to collect the pale corpse. Your crew are utterly silent. No one catches your eye. You gain a bunch of terror. You have a hunting trophy. You know something of the three gods of the Z. That was probably a Mitsaki, but you know what? Oh well. Oh. Enter the snares. Place we've never been before. We're running low on fuel. I should probably find some fuel at some point. Fed the crew. Ain't that just the greatest? Discovered a labyrinth of eels. Fifty fragments gained. Hmm. Oh. If you look at this. Fascinating. Nowhere to park though, so I guess I'll just you know pass through. I did get a lot of fragments though; it's always nice. A lot of the sea is uh, uncovered. Keep going, keep going, little ship. I ain't done with you. Repair the ship. Z bat. Crab cake. I swear, if this thing is a giant, this a giant thing, this a giant crab, and starts attacking me, I'm like. Cool, an island. Pigmoat Island. Alrighty. Where's the port? The port is down there. This is going nicely. For the most part, I do seriously, seriously need some uh, supplies, or else, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. That would be unpleasant. Unpleasant little, little, little thing that would go on there. Definitely don't want that to happen. Discovered Saints Haven. 50 fragments gained. Doc. Here we go. Okay. On a lonely desert beach, there is no habitation in sight, no market, only an old rotting dock. I don't know, man. There's some pretty, pretty, pretty habit, habita habitable things on the picture of the island. A stretch of sand thickens into the damp black earth, which sprouts out stunted palms, not quite tall fungal growths. With frond like caps of it, as if someone sculpted the idea of a tree from a mushroom. Disembark, see what awaits you. War. As you step onto the quay, you hear clamor, shouts, and shooting. You can see off in the distance smoke rising from beyond the hill, and dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving as if awaiting your approach. The following is an extract from the popular diary of a sea captain from London to Irene, and what we did before we arrived. Also, I like how this says a literary interlude. <clears throat> Washed ashore on Mutton Island, and subsequently serialized in an unexpected purgated gazette, the author's identity remains unknown, in which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, a war is declared. A most singular treasure is sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. Chapter 1. The Delegation. 